Good afternoon everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jairo. Today we are going to do a walk here from the Alhambra uh, area in Aruba. Uh, we'll go, we're going to go to the end of the Eagle Beach where the Fofoti trees are. And uh, right now we're checking out the Alhambra area that has a Juan Valdez coffee and a Dunkin' Donuts. Baskin Robin, Hungry Piranha Pizza, and some other restaurants. So we'll pass by them briefly. And uh, part of this walk is a follow up to the beach situation that we are encountering the last uh, couple of months. And I promised you guys to do a, a yeah, I like a follow up and conclude it with the Eagle Beach especially, but also part of the Manchevo Beach. Now this is a walk made around 1 p.m. So uh, it is a little bit quiet, relatively speaking, uh, in this area. And most of the activities are usually at night. And yeah, it does get quite crowded in the evening. Let's try to stay away also briefly from the music as I always try to do in this these situations and uh, oftentimes this is why I often often <laughs> often um, avoid these places uh, because there's also always music around in Aruba and uh, it is a happy island after all so I'm the unhappy guy walking around complaining about music all the time. <laughs> no, I'm not. I actually like it, but I do like my quiet moments too, especially uh, when I'm editing the videos, etc. I like my full focus on what I am doing. Now, we... Let's see how we can do this one. Let's start by crossing and going over on this side where I'll be... Uh, briefly showing you so in the back of the Alhambra you have the Casa del Mar which is this tower the Aruba Beach Club Resort which is this one this one right here the Ricardos is here by the way and the Matthews is at the Casa del Mar Casa del Mar also has another tower which is this one it's got its tennis court back there and apart from the beach walk you are also getting some extra clips and information on where you can expect your hotel to be as i was growing up this was a very popular area we used to come here a lot and where the casa del mar is situated I remember we did some camping over there. There were, you know, a lot of trees, no building as of yet at that time. I was quite young, it was early 80s, I think. So you could kind of calculate my age by then. Um, so yeah, pretty standard. This is the Manchebo Beach Resort and Spa, which was has also been here for quite a long time. And while we're not going to pass in front of it, over there is the Bukuti and Tara, the popular Bukuti and Tara. And when Chibo features electric cars, I don't know if you can rent them, but they have had them for quite a while. Even before I had mine, I think that was really one of the first ones I ever saw in Aruba. And uh, hopefully by the time you are watching this one, you must have seen a pretty special vlog I made regarding electric vehicles. Now, this is in between the Bukuti Sorry, yes, the Bukuti Antara and the Manchebo 
there is like this little space you could say that you can cross over to the beach so you're not walking on any private property really okay so just keep that in mind if you are for example on a cruise ship as an example that you could um, just cross here and go to the Manchepo beach which in my opinion is like the extended Eagle Beach more or less and yeah that's um, pretty much what the Manchebo beach is one of the best ones on the island I think I'm going to this time cross a little bit through the hotel side just on this side and as I mentioned part of the idea to to be doing this walk is to talk a little bit about the beach erosion which I think by now is mostly wrapped up and I think getting better and better the situation is and uh, not what we hope that it will be on the long run but I definitely think that it's getting there and I do believe that on this side of things the beach did not get um, much damage at all actually but it's always a pleasure to be walking on this side of things wow it's a beautiful day it's a beautiful day so we're looking back at the Bukuti and Tara and further up is the Costa Linda, the yellow one, yellow and white. Not too bright yellow though. Let me try to, pardon me if you don't mind, let me try to put my shoes in my backpack briefly. If you know me, I often walk with shoes but today I want to get my feet wet <laughs> my footage lately I don't know what's it's happening I don't know if it's the angle of the sun for the winter maybe a little bit but lately I've found that the footage that I have from both of my GoPros, so the 7 and the 10, they are like a little bit dark, even without the clouds. The shades in Aruba, by the way, are very extreme, so they'll go to, from what we can see right now, as a very dark looking beach and water to just in a little bit it's gonna be very bright and beautiful but I personally love the colors out there and whenever you see a lighter color that pretty much means that it's not too deep but that's not always the case see what I mean when the Sun is out it's just darn beautiful so if you are heading that way, that's that's where I stopped my last beach walk. If you haven't one, um, if you haven't seen that one, go up there. I'll try to put the link or check it out in my video list. You'll get it. So today we'll continue now on this side and.
it will be a little bit windy but I thought the microphones lately I have two types of microphones uh, that I'm using lately and I think both of them are have been doing really really good really well and uh, so that's the Costa Linda and I've mentioned it before I get I I still get confused in beach names somehow or not beach names the hotel names and so you got the Costa Linda which is this one you got the Playa Linda which is in Palm Beach you got the Casa del Mar somehow I can confuse that name with um, with these type of names and you also have La Quinta which I do believe is somewhere just back here which is a smaller resort across the road isn't it beautiful or what If you want to do a nice beach walk in Aruba, in my opinion, this is definitely the place to do it. The sand, apart from being super soft, it's just a beautiful, beautiful walk. It's a long, nice and long walk. And yeah, the waters are also very very nice I do believe that I can see some some waves more than usual maybe nothing to be alarmed definitely not take a look back at the Costa Lina very large resort also one of the largest ones here at the Manchebo Beach and while there is no line that kind of says well here Manchebo Beach ends and Eagle Beach starts it's pretty much I would consider it after this area so after the the beach bar that is situated here now folks uh, do ask me oftentimes can you rent palapas is there water sports um, is there a restroom is there a public restroom there is no official public restroom in this area and at most beaches in Aruba, no official public restrooms. And why I say that official? Because what you can do is what we often do, right? When we travel. So you just go to maybe a bar or a restaurant and go to the restroom there. Um, I would suggest that you do consume something you know even if it's just a drink just a cola or something and the palapas that do or are rented 
oftentimes are in this area as well. Or at least this is one of them. And I know the cruise ships when they come here. This is so these are the the ones that are often um, rented out. I am not so sure about the price. I do believe I mentioned it quite a few walks ago. I do believe what the hell? Oh, okay. So that's the way they do it. Never seen that before. Wasn't aware of that one. So they're gonna put one up right now. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> yeah. So we can still see a little bit of the seagrass, seaweed that has been um, I would say it has been, how would I call it? They have to gather them up a little bit here. See if we can go closer. But I mean, it's no issue. Uh, nature will take care of itself and it certainly has already. I see a lot of improvements already and in no time this beach is going to be uh, completely beautiful and bright white sand. In the past, we used to have a lot of events taking place here on Manchebo and or the extended Eagle Beach and the Eagle Beach itself also. The last couple of years, not so much anymore. And the reason is that they're trying to protect it. I mean, it is one of the very best, considered one of the very best beaches in the world, certainly in the Caribbean, but also in the world. So usually what I can tell you is usually if you go up to more of the Eagle Beach side, which we are right now, the waves will get less and less higher to the point where it's irrelevant pretty much. And wow, it's beautiful. And. Uh, so my point is, if you are traveling with kids, for example, these girls, you would want to go to a beach that is, you know, has calmer waters, preferably. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot more comfortable for them. And, and just in case, if you're not you know, you're not a, you have problems uh, walking, etc. That is also a reason for you to look for a calmer beach. I do consider the Palm Beach actually to be probably even more calm than the, the Eagle Beach. So even though I'm a fan, I'm a big fan of the Eagle Beach, I do give the Palm Beach that. So if that is anything that you are concerned with, take that into account as well. So while it is a beautiful day today, it's also somewhat of a cloudy day, but quite frankly, I don't mind a few clouds. It gives you a few seconds of break between the sunbathing, you know, between the 
our sun, if you're sunbathing, it will give you that, you know, that, that brief moment that you can just relax, that your body can relax. And I've mentioned this many times before, if you are coming here, especially during the winter time, especially, do not be going into the sun and sunbathing for a prolonged period of time, especially at midday or so. You know, don't do that. You know, go just a few minutes. Your body will start telling you. And as good as it feels, I know so many bad stories, almost horror stories of people that do not take that into account. And they are, the rest of the week, they are bothered by you know, either fever or they just start feeling that they cannot go too long outside anymore. And in extreme cases, they also start vomiting, etc. And in very, very, very more extreme cases, you got to even go to the hospital. You don't want to, don't want to be doing that. So we are now approaching the part where most of the locals can be found at the Eagle Beach because this is where the parking will start and it will go up to more or less where we are heading right now. And the parking is free. You do get that question much more often than you would think. So parking is free and in most cases there is plenty of parking unless there is like maybe a public holiday it could get you know like uh, full maybe but there's, there's usually plenty of uh, parking spaces What I can uh, briefly like see and notice is that the sea grass is further up. So it seems like somebody's been, you know, like pushing it back. And I, I don't think it's a water, but it could be. And I definitely don't see any more signs of it in the water itself. Great, clear, beautiful day. And I want to say hi to Estrella in New York. Uh, I don't know if she's, she'll be watching this one, but she sent me uh, like a, a short video of how it's snowing over there recently. And I told her, teasingly, of course, how great the snow looks from the Caribbean. So from where I am looking at it, <laughs> I am very sarcastic on that side. <laughs> you would have no idea until you meet me in person. <laughs> so uh, my hello to them. And so in case you're wondering, she's the one that we went on the Halloween video we went to oh look at this so we went on the Halloween ghost hunter kind of video spooky places on Aruba and I know Halloween is over but maybe you do want to check that video out as well
one of my one of the videos that has the most views that I've ever had is a video that I made here oh boy <laughs> just a second folks so yeah that video I made it during the lockdown the COVID lockdown and I walked from the Tamarain up to where we are heading and that's a pretty darn long walk especially on the beach and I remember walking back by the road and then realizing how much I walked and I don't know if it was 10 kilometers but it certainly felt like that because walking on the beach is not the same as walking on you know a regular paved road or something so that was pretty bad but it was worth it it was very well received and I think as of right now it has over 80,000 views more or less so uh, that's the that's the good part so people really really appreciate it and I know folks have told me that they have watched it over and over again it's not a video that I was talking in my walking videos at that time didn't realize that people love that but I understand it nowadays so you get the information Oh, there's usually a restaurant here, but today it's closed. And there's a food truck, like, I don't know if you can see it, but it's right here. A white food truck, something like Mama's food truck or something like that. Um, it usually, I, I don't think it has a name on it, so if you do come to check it out and a lot of people love it they have good prices also and you know good portions i've eaten there but i don't think that they have the name on the food truck that is a thing now the as some of you may know the world cup has started and world cup fever is here i guess Playing soccer on the beach is a lot of fun and used to do that a lot as a younger guy. I'm young. I used to be a little bit younger. <laughs> I used to be able to run 10 steps and not get tired. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Even the dogs are enjoying today. So right now we are crossing in front of the Paradise Beach Villas. That's the resort uh, across the road. This is where they'll, you'll be spending your day at the beach. 
with their own palapas and then they and then next we are have the last two which are the La Cabana Resort behind it also the Eagle Resort you cannot actually see it from the road but it's somewhere back here that's the La Cabana and the last one will be the Amsterdam Manor that's more or less where the Fofoti trees are It's crazy how, what I was talking about earlier, that how bright when the sun is shining directly, how bright it can get. And then when a cloud goes in between in Aruba, how so shady it gets. You know, it's just crazy. Let me try to. So this is pretty much the La Cabana. this side the La Cabana usually is quite crowded and it is definitely a popular resort here on the Eagle Beach it's probably the most popular just being based on the size of it the amount of rooms etc and I think in the beginning the Eagle Resort if I'm not mistaken used to be part of it too and then they split but if any of the locals or any one of you may remember that that's a quite a long time ago though and uh, yeah that was built in any case after the La Cabana you want to rent wave runners or do any type of water sports you would have to look for one of these huts and uh, there's parasailing jet ski wave runners that's a lot of fun but you can always be careful with that I assume that they have a minimum age for renting them We are slowly but surely reaching the Fofoti trees where more or less we'll be finishing. <laughs> wow, just a great splash here. We'll be wrapping up this walk briefly. I do use a microphone so I put it on the inside of my shirt usually 
and that's to protect it just give it a little bit extra protection from the wind so i'm i've been pretty proud of how the audio has been the last uh, you know year or so i think i've improved my audio quite a bit compared to my earlier videos but that's something always that you try to you know slowly keep investing in new equipment and it's certainly worth it initially you think like wow that's a that's a big investment because usually when we do import things here we have to pay import duties it takes a long time to get them weeks sometimes a month for them to get here i'm talking about amazon and yeah we um, also have to pay for a quite high of a shipping cost usually as well and yeah so i'm going to do a brief walk around the for 40 trees i see a lot of folks over there and now we'll finish it this one by the way this one is the amsterdam manor across the street i personally um find it a little bit unfortunate i'm not criticizing these folks specifically but i prefer for folk, for folks <laughs> to not be hanging out under these trees just based on the sense of that maybe people want to take photos here and they've probably waited maybe a long long time to get to Aruba and when they get here they find that this it's going to be quite difficult to take a beautiful photo with so many people under the trees but again that's just my opinion that's not per se the general public does give for a pretty good shade so that's that i see some extra sand here by the way let's see if we can get a splash yeah <laughs> that's a nice splash so we uh taking a look back at the eagle beach and the stretch that we just walked i think it looks great so with this i pretty much wrap up <laughs> i pretty much wrap up you know my beach erosion videos i think in the future of course i'll do more beach walks but i think for now i'm gonna take a break from at least the eagle dv palm beach uh, beaches because I do have quite a few videos on them already and I think in the next coming weeks or so I'm gonna focus on some other content I'm not sure yet what uh, those who are aware uh, we do have a situation with Marlene so we are wanting to take care of that but nonetheless thank you for all of your support all of the messages i still have quite a few to get to to reply to give to put a like but we really really appreciate your concern and prayers bye bye guys see you next week And if you're still here, yes, I do walk back to my car. But it's a beautiful walk, isn't it?